you, you're so wise. <laughs> yeah. Because what you're describing now is we talked about managing the energy, right? Mm -hmm. So now you had a principle which was, okay, I'm going to write down things. And you didn't know at first that it was a principle. You didn't know you were following universal law. You were just doing what you do. But then when you saw it working, mm -hmm. you say, okay, this is what makes this mathematical equation true. Mm -hmm. So you keep doing it. Mm -hmm. You also noticed that when you didn't do it, things you wanted to happen wasn't happening because you got out, out of your principle right. and your law. Exactly. Right. So now you know and you discovered that when you follow your principle and your law, you get a promise. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, that that principle of, you know, how it says that, that we haven't been given the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. right. you know, but of, 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 of a sound mind, right? Mm -hmm. Power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. A sound mind means that we actually move matter, as you were saying in your poetry, mm -hmm. when we use our focused intention. Mm -hmm. So by stating that affirmation, mm -hmm. you actually attract to yourself, because your subconscious mind is what's creating reality. And it doesn't know the difference between what the world says is true and what you're feeding your subconscious mind. Right. So as you're writing that down right. and you're constantly saying that to yourself, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. And that's totally different than what we were taught in church about prayer and so forth and so on. So that's what, yeah, that's what, that's what the science is about, right. is teaching people those techniques mm -hmm. that allows them to be able to attract what they want in their life. Mm -hmm. And then when you go out and, you, and you're speaking, you know, or you're doing your show or whatever, this is the process, but it already happened in your mind exactly. many years ago, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Right, that's awesome, that's awesome, man. And I, I, what I love, I love how you allow other students to get up and become the teacher, or allow the I am within them to relay some wisdom. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's vitally important because so many people, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, brother, that are tired of religion. Mm. And I, I'm not here to knock anybody's right, religion right, personally, right, but I'm just saying that leadership today and, and in the future has mm -hmm. to be absent of ego. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I've had a successful career in corporate America. Mm -hmm. um, my wife and I, we, we take care of our family. So we, we don't, we're not doing this for the sake of trying to draw people in and right. get money, right? right? And so what that does is that allows us the freedom to teach the truth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it also allows us to not have an ego trip and say to other people, okay, now let me make sure you're getting this. Right. And the way I know you're getting it is when you, when you go through the classes and then you get up and you regurgitate. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm sitting here, and, and it doesn't matter what platform. Right. You know, when you speak the things that are coming out of, uh, out of your mouth right, right now, right. Mm -hmm. you somebody's going to hear that and get activated. Right. You may never meet them. Right. Right. But when they hear how you manifest, mm -hmm it can change their whole life. Because there are mothers out there right now, they don't know how they're gonna make ends meet. Right. And they're going out and they're beating the pavement for a job. When I am, the, unif the unified energy field, divine source, uh, has already promised you everything. Right. Right. But it's right. just you don't know that technique. So you go to sleep at night watching CNN right. or watching some show about somebody you know, cheating or whatever, right. not realizing you could be spending that time <laughs> doing what you're talking about, right. Right. writing down what you want to see. And i like to add to that as well. When I first um, came into the science, mm -hmm. you know, I've been in several organizations. I've dabbled into the Nation of Islam as well in, in uh, black nationalist groups. Mm -hmm. And what I, what I noticed is that those, that knowledge was necessary. It right. made you feel good about your people mm -hmm. and where your people came from, but not how you fit into the now dynamic of what your people are going through and how you fit in personally. Mm -hmm. And so when I, um, when I first heard Acharya speak, mm -hmm. it was not a temporary feel good moment that I would get if you hear other motivational speakers. It was a continuous mm -hmm. breaking down the panoply of flesh mm -hmm. or the, the gray clothes that was placed on me through society, to the, through the social fantasy, mm -hmm. through my community, through um, my relationships, through uh, family, mm -hmm. and allowing me to take those grave clothes off mm -hmm. and get to the root of who I am, how I energetically perceive things, mm -hmm. how I energetically can connect with the world, with the universe, and so, and it really uh, does help that 
you get to the science of I am, no pun intended. <laughs> so now you're not looking outside of yourself. You're not looking outward, but you're looking from your unified self, the highest level, down and emanating those downloads to yourself. And that's why it was so powerful when you said that you heard a voice inside, then the voice was outside of you and it was your own voice emanating to you. Mm -hmm. We are taught that through energy-based perception, mm -hmm. how it's not a level from here up, it's a level from up emanating down to this lower material level mm -hmm. so that you can um, maneuver throughout society energetically. Mm -hmm. So when you meet somebody and they are harmful to you or disrespectful, you know that you're not dealing with that person, but a personality mm -hmm. or a force behind that person. And you don't take things too seriously, then you don't, then you don't live with regret, fear, shame, or uh, you know, disempowerment or insecurity. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, that's a force. And, and the bio-vibrational science teaches us how to deal with those forces. Right. Because I, I, I tell him on that the meeting on, on, on a Zoom call, I've learned to, if I meet with, if I met with some kind of uh, opposition, a different vibration than mine, mm -hmm. what I've learned how to do is not even acknowledge it, mm -hmm. not right. even see it. I, I, I still see the I am in them. Yeah. And so once yes. I see the I am in them, I am show up. That's right. Exactly. See, honestly, that's right. Honestly, you were transformed right in front of my face. That's exactly. right. Exactly. And that's the exactly. higher, that's the higher <laughs> level. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're 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 yeah. performing uh, uh, energetic alchemy, right, right on point. Wow. Right. And okay. just think about, I, my I want to the rest of my life in this incarnation is dedicated to teaching what you just talked about, which is mm -hmm. getting our, everybody we can to understand that energetic root right. and be able to alchemize when necessary, right. because. If, if that negative force, if, you don't, if you're not giving it relevance, mm -hmm. then it can't feed. Right. And so, right, right. and then when you're projecting that, projecting that positivity, mm -hmm. then that person begins to experience a change. Mm -hmm. and, right. and something one wow. of the sisters was saying outside, we were talking to them, and they, um, she was saying how her ministry was all about, um, you know, helping people to, to where they are. When we get into the universal laws that we're talking about right now, and get rid of the fear, shame, and guilt that we have historically, you know, felt because somebody said, oh, man, you living in sin. Oh, man, you, you know, you, you had this kind of lifestyle before A, B, and C. None of that is, the I am is not concerned with that. The I am is concerned with you, you being in the right vibration. Now, of course, certain things we do might make us feel outside that vibration, but that has nothing to do with the rules that human beings are giving us. That has something to do with our value system and what we're comfortable with. So there are things you might be comfortable with, I'm not. The question is, are we comfortable? Right. Is it functional? Is it functional? So we get past good and bad, good and evil. We say, is this functional for you? How do you how you know how are you vibing to what you're doing? Well, it makes me feel good. Okay, well then you you're on the right track. When it, the minute you feel something different, then you change course. And that's how we become very powerful human beings. Exactly. That's beautiful. So, Adia, uh, mm -hmm. the products that you have, you make some oh, awesome sprays, I do. oils. Yeah. Like, when did that journey begin for you? Like, I just, when you start cooking up some concoctions and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we were, we, uh, Acharya was always selling, like, just the base oils that you, that you get. And I started um, working the store. And I am, I got a download. Mm -hmm. And I said, how can we make like charge this mm -hmm. you know this needs to be like i can make this where it works as a purpose like oils for a purpose mm -hmm. not just the smell but it also attract wealth and and protection and that's basically and then i just i just started wow. and i got into my my laboratory my meditation room and started experimenting and 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 voila. I, never, I never saw no one put crystals in all your bodies itself. Like that's yeah. just wow. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the different the different types of oils, the the crystals that I placed right. combination right. with the oil, right. Right. and charging charging them underneath of the moon, right. um, whether it's a full moon or a waning moon or a waxing moon or a new moon, it gives it a different property, mm -hmm. and then depending on the season, right. it's 
It's all. Now, I, I love I'm going to tell you it. something because she's very modest. I'm going to tell you this, and, and I know you know this. Um, you know, you talked about being, in, uh, I'll take this, you know, you used to talk about being a nation of Islam, mm -hmm. and we know that we were taught, even in the, with the five percent of the mm -hmm. gods and goddesses of the universe. So we, we really know that. Like, we yeah, know, we know that, that we have, yeah. we haven't lived once, we lived many times. Yeah. And so there is a magic that she possesses, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a super mm -hmm. ability. And everybody has super yes. abilities. Now, it's not just her, right. I mean, you and I too, but right. her super ability is a magic to transform mm -hmm. um, human consciousness and environments where people live mm -hmm. and people in, in the environment of our of our energy system mm -hmm. and so the it's not just what when she puts it under the moon it's not just what she puts in it mm -hmm. but it's the charge that she gives it with her intention right. and that's why it can't be duplicated right. because she spends hours placing her intention to into every oil into every spray mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've seen so many miracles, everything from computers that weren't working to those, you know, working, people getting healed, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hair growth, all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a ministry of love mm -hmm. because we're not, love you know, it. she's not doing this because, you know, you, 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 you know, because we, we're trying to get over on people. Right. Right. She's right. doing it because there's a need. Mm -hmm. and, and I often think about how many people that have, have habits they don't like can take this as being their habit or their satna, right? Putting this oil on or the spray on, and that's how they get empowered versus something true. else that's not good for true. them. True, 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 true. Yes. So, man, before we get up out of here, I want you to go ahead and give the people your website so they can uh, get some of them products, <laughs> these amazing books. Because this is like your fifth book. Which one? This one? What number is this? I think it's, this is the fifth one. This is the fifth. I don't know. It's the fifth. It's, okay. the, fifth it's the fifth book. The fifth. Wow. It's the fifth book. It's the most important. Right. The Science of I Am. Go on to the website. It's www.biovibrationalscience.com. And if you don't remember that, if you go to Google and type in biovibrational, the rest going to pop up. It's going to pop up. After bio. Yeah. And, after and, bio V, it'll yeah, pop up. The bookstore is on there. The email, info at yeah. biovibrationalscience.com. Mm -hmm. That's on there. So you can email us with your questions, as well as if there's a product that's out of stock, you can tell us you're interested in it. Right. And uh, certainly, you know, order pre-order Science of I Am. We're actually... Right. Uh, about to order a new stack because we're we running out, out pretty stock. fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need the book before this. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, ca the caper and the goose. Nagos. Yeah, the yeah. the African. That that book is the is the Bible operational sign. You're talking about the black book, right? Yeah. 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 That book is on the website too, okay. and and we okay. need to get some more of those. Yeah. <laughs> that book was written uh, given to us by I am specifically for our people, mm. and it tells the history of the black man and woman, the gods and goddesses, from the beginning of time mm -hmm. all the way up to modern time. And it also indicates all of our uh, successes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason that this world is not in utter darkness right now mm -hmm. is because of the inventions and the ingenuity, ingenuity of black people, mm -hmm. specifically in North America. Mm -hmm. um, everything from your refrigerator to your lawnmower to Touch the lights. Screen. Security everything, system. Everything yeah. is invented by us. But yep. even before that, we just know that we need to empower ourselves with our history yeah. and don't go 400 years deep. Right. We are infinite. Oh, and blackness yeah. is a tone, not a skin right. color. That's, that's, right. what, that's what Elijah Muhammad did for me when I read Message of the Black Man. That was like the first book I ever read. Mm -hmm. you know, and what he did for me, I always felt like I come from greatness and kings and queens, but I, didn't, I wasn't taught that in a way. The books taught us. We started from slavery and beyond. They didn't exactly. give us our history before that. Exactly. Yeah. So when I read the, that book, it taught me, it gave me some memory of our before that. Yeah. And when I read it, I'm like, oh, that's why I've been feeling like this. I've been, I've been feeling like it, but I ain't got no way. What a proof is that? Yeah. You know right. what I'm talking about? <laughs> right. And that and that's something that's that's uh, it's going away. If you look at what's going on in Florida right now, mm -hmm. where they're saying, okay, black history has to be taught a certain way. Um, we're changing that. We, we've changed that with that book so that we can teach ourselves our true history and it's much deeper than 400 years. Yeah. Right.